Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Beatrice and welcome back. If you've been here before, thank you for coming back. Today's sequence is a very short seated sequence for us to move into the spine and the back for when we feel a little bit stiff. Maybe we spent a day at the desk or seated driving or maybe we just haven't moved much and we need to bring a little bit of movement back into our spine. So you don't really need many props, you just come into a comfortable seated position. You can be cross-legged, can have, um, you can be kneeling, you can even be sitting on a chair with the feet on the ground. I'm going to be sitting on a blanket, folded up blanket, which feels nice and comfortable and makes me um, straighten the spine with a little bit more ease. So if you do sit on the blanket, sitting there at the edge, if you have a flat block, you can use that as well. So whenever you're ready, please come and practice with me. So as we find ourselves into our comfortable seated position, taking a little bit of a moment to ground, taking the hands to the knees or in your lap, on your thighs if you're sitting on the chair. Letting the shoulders drop and the chin come slightly to the chest, flattening the back of the neck. Or actually lengthening the back of the neck. Closing our eyes if that feels safe for us or otherwise taking a gaze down to the ground. Taking a few breaths just to notice how our back is feeling today. And accepting anything that comes up. Whenever you're ready, take the hands to the knees. You can keep your eyes closed or peek at me. And as you inhale, lift the chest, tilt the pelvis forward, lift the chest, open up and drop the shoulders, maybe look up. On your exhale, tuck the chin, round the shoulders, round through the spine, bring the navel towards the spine, round down, and look down towards your navel. Inhale to lift from the tailbone up into the length of your spine. I'll show you from the side as well, opening the chest, maybe looking up. And as you exhale, tucking the chin down, rounding the shoulders, running down the spine, navel to spine. Inhale from the tailbone up through the back into the neck the shoulders, exhale and round, now we can continue with this movement or we can add on and bring in this movement of the spine into circles, so as we inhale, taking ourselves to the right, coming forward to open the chest, finding an arch in the spine, and coming back from the left, rounding to go back and exhaling as you round. Inhale to the left, forward and back from the other side, round. One more time this side. When you're ready, change circles. Going through the other side, opening as you come forward and inhaling, and rounding and exhaling as you go back.
On your inhale, come back to your neutral spine. Lift the arms up. Exhale to take the right hand down, left arm up, trying to keep the chest opening forward. Left hip stays grounded. Inhale through center. Exhale, switch sides. Inhale through center. Exhale back to the right, keeping that left hip down. Inhale through center, exhale to the left, keeping right hip down, reaching out. One more time each side, come through center. Exhale to the right. Come through center. Exhale to the left. And come through to center, interlace the fingers and take the hands to the back of your head. On your inhale, just like we did in that seated, extended and rounded spine, seated cat and cow, we're inhaling to lift the chest, tilt the pelvis forward, open the elbows. And as we exhale, tucking the chin to the chest, bringing the elbows in, stopping whenever we feel sensations at the upper back and pressing the head against the hands, the hands against the head. Inhaling to lift the head, round, uh, finding that extension in the spine. Exhaling to round chin to chest, just rounding in the shoulders, pressing the head against the hands, hands against the head. Last time, inhale, lift. Exhale, round and press. Inhale, lift. Keep the hands as they are. As you exhale, twist towards the right. So keep a nice active twist. Building our own movement without the help of the hands. Keeping the spine nice and straight. Inhale, come through center. Doesn't matter if you have very little movement. It's not, it is not a very easy thing to do to twist this way. So it can be quite hard and that's fine. Inhale, come through center. Try and twist from the ribs first and then running up into the head. So we're not trying to look over the shoulder, we're trying to actually move the thoracic spine. Exhaling to bring ourselves into the twist. Inhaling through center. Exhaling to come into the twist. through center last time each side inhale come through center release the hands come back to that side bend right hand down this time coming up onto the fingertips inviting the left arm up and over and as you exhale rounding the spine threading the left hand underneath the right arm Inhale through, opening up through the chest. Maybe even circling the arm down and rounding back forward and through to thread. Inhale, open the chest. Exhale, thread. Inhale, come through center, move the other way. Come onto the fingertips of the left hand, right arm first, up and over, finding that space and then exhaling to round, thread. Inhale, open up, maybe circle, moving into the shoulders and then threading underneath. Last time, inhaling and exhaling. Inhaling, coming through to center, bringing the hands back down to the knees or in your lap. And taking a few moments to feel the back, 
once again noticing any difference. Whenever you're ready, if you need to go back to work or go out, bring the palm together, palms together at heart center and bow down to thank yourself. For this time of gentle movement of the spine. Thank you so much for taking this practice with me. I hope it helped loosen up the spine and finding that nice open movement that we really like. If you did enjoy this, please come back for another video and thank you again.